Okay, so this is uh, Conspiracy Theory Hour with Alex Hansry, only we're going to be revealing the truth. We are in the eclipse season, and boy, does it feel weird out there. So there, there could be people out there that are saying dumb shit, that are running their mouth, that are already starting to act uh, possessed. And what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Well, I told you a lot of things. But uh, with regards to Muslims, uh, you know, anti-white rhetoric, and, you know, invasion of America, and this and that, Great Replacement Theory, anti-freedom rhetoric. So I don't support the whole Islamic invasion belief system, but they can send people in and demons could put people under mind control to go on knife attacks and basically say stupid shit that then gets put on the internet, that then gets put on X, that then gets seen around the world. You know what I'm saying? So I uh, don't know how long we're going to go. I'm going to eat some pizza, but I basically spent four hours typing for you, honey, for you, because it's going to be a future paper back. Not feeling much female energy right now. They're shadow banning the heck out of me, you know, but I do see it. There are some of you that are listening. It's just, you know, you're probably out and about. The sun's out. You may get cloud cover for the eclipse. Maybe that's a good thing. Okay. So David Icke, here we go. Do you, what are you going to do then? What if this guy was an actor to go out saying this and then to say, what are you going to do then? People are going to think, well, I've got a few ideas. It's all fitting the paradigm. It's all fitting the plot. It's all fitting the agenda. It's all fitting the script. Everything you ever thought would happen is happening. That there would be false flags and maybe people like this that are actors and or uh, deep fake videos that emerge of really violent rapes and murders and people calling for a death to America. But... There's enough unstable people out there that will take the money or can become possessed. I told you already, I don't think that Muslims, even if they believe in God, as well as Christians, are immune from possession. Even a former fling chimed in a few months ago. It's about the only thing she had to say to me. That I think Jesus is the only one that um, probably can't come under possession. I would say probably mostly right on with that, that most of us can, but what degree? But is Jesus the only one that has probably fought off possession? No, I don't think so. So David Icke has a point, so do you, for being concerned about migrants. I just want to share a conspiracy theory with you, though. And I am going to bring up um, David Icke, David Icke's video, where I feel like, because, uh, you know, he was a hero to me along with Jones. I feel like he is not understanding what I call, what he called, what you have called problem reaction solution. I feel like <laughs> David Icke should be a little bit further along at understanding how it's like by design to fill the Western world with some of these migrants so that innocent migrants get blamed and don't get a chance at America and we end up like an ethno state and then Nazism or what's perceived to be white supremacy, even if it's done in like a survival mechanism, perceivably to save yourself from complete damnation, you know what I'm saying, can and will be used against you in the um, world court of law. This is the vision that Alex Ansari has, not a fantasy that I'm like, oh, yeah, I hope this happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I hope America goes down. It's so going to be awesome for me. So going to be, China's so loving. Russia was so loving to Afghanistan. Oh, I so want Russia to do something to America. I, I, f folks, I'm being sarcastic. Let, let me just type David Icke, fleeing war, refugees. I'm sorry about what happened in France, and I know I'm not defending whatever happened, nor any, nor any type of violence from any migrant, and these people have attacked me more than three times, including my father. And I said, I think that I actually physically have been attacked more than some of you. But I don't want to be judged for what I am differently. And I don't believe that I am the death of the Western world, nor Zoe Ansari to me Mansory. So I think that you need to have some discernment about Afghans and other people and migrants, just like you want people to have discernment about white people. You know what I mean? I think there's actually people out there that would give a lot to your society that are, that's, in fact, not going to ever give, get a chance, especially not now. And a lot of refugees that have been brought over due to whatever selection process is happening. It seems like people that don't care about our values and our principles often get through the cracks and they're here. Mean ones. And I've met them. And they love to call the cops when they get complained on. So they get jobs in some cases. God knows how. And then they want to call the cops and shit on someone who has fought for refugee rights. Not that Best Western ever got back to me. And if you're new to this broadcast, a refugee called the cops on me. And I've been attacked by refugees and I've been attacked by leftist groups that supposedly like refugees. They in fact hate their kids. So this is the conspiracy theory for you. 
they created white supremacy to hurt white people. It's not that you can't be like, well, I can only trust my own group because I'm seeing these attacks. I, I think that you need to be a little bit more critical of your own kind, and you are actually. You right-wingers are really mean and critical of left-wingers under the guise of politics. And there's a lot of mean stuff said about conservatives, calling them Nazis by leftists, but it's really white on white discrimination, if, if you want my honest to God opinion. And most of you aren't ready for it. It's very much akin to the, the back to the future scene where um, he's talking about um, music that they're not ready for, you know, and I'm actually typing right now. So with the solar flares, um, my brain is working faster, you know, and so, I can talk and bring stuff up and type. And to avoid copyright, I'm going to I'm going to go back and forth with this. But basically, I'm trying to be entertaining and also informative. I am disappointed to see that there's less views, but the shadow banning is real. But um, this is my spiritual practice, and I'm thinking about a new guided meditation for you that will at least air or premiere around the time of the eclipse. This is like you and me sometimes. That 2075 shit. F you people. I love the women of 2075. It's like this. I'm sorry, bro. But we had to have that talk. Dislike. <laughs> Dis unsub. Uns until. 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 You're on YouTube one day and it pops up. You're like, damn it, I unsubbed. All right, I'm going to hit play. See what Alex has to say. I'm going to check my pizza. Okay, so we're going to come back to some of this stuff. I'm just going to have to keep blabbing and just shooting the stuff out there and seeing what spaghetti sticks. Okay, check this out. Adolf Hitler worked for the aliens to set up Germany for what is Germany now. What do you think about that? And the aliens used Hitler and the Russians. They basically used them on the same populations and they turned them on each other. Once the solar flares came in and the demonic possessions came in from the increased solar activity of the post-Roswell era. Actually, Roswell is 47. But the solar flares kicked off. We saw the Aurora Borealis around August 23rd. Well, well we did if i was there i don't know 1939 and then hitler's like blood blood more blood and destruction must kill and then he invades poland september 1st 1939 so later russia turns on germany and then when the nazis fell who knows what happened to hitler a bunch of german women were gang raped by soviets so there's always talk about the muslim rapists from russia look at what they did look at well, I'm not telling you to, but if you looked at pornography over the course of the last 20 years, like some of us men that have been in this society, and we're all conditioned not to talk about it. Women think lowly of me. We're supposed to hide it. I'm not supposed to judge. Whatever, man. You people are too silent about human trafficking. Don't even act like you've got the high ground on me. What have you exposed about men, women? Nothing. What have you exposed about women? Nothing. Just laughing about conspiracy theories, New World Order, Great Replacement, WEF 2030, you know, is just what millions of people are saying. It's garbly goo, basically. You have to go deep into your gnosis of what you know personally as a soul about this reality. That's what I'm telling you right now. The aliens are behind the Nazi movement right now, the anti-white movement, the black power movement, and the woke movement. And I told you in the past, in the podcast, they often use white and blacks even though they get them fighting against the same ethnic groups. Um, the military is one way, cops is another. But there's plenty of movies where you see institutional power from black people. You might call them Uncle Tom or people might, but they have they have opportunities in society that some of us don't have. Um, I keep hearing about an Islamic invasion. I'm sorry to hear that. However, I also got to say my part. You know, I've been doing this for a while and Muslims sure ain't showing up to the comment section nor other people that can identify with white supremacy. In fact, I have these bizarre theories that you would find totally out of line and inappropriate. You know, there are people out there that do hate white people. We agree on that. We agree on that. In fact, they hate the white in me, whether you agree with that or not. But have you heard this one? There really isn't actually a movement against white supremacy. It's a hoax. 
Yeah, have you heard this one? Well, you heard it here first. There actually isn't really an anti-white, because if there was, if there was an authentic, uh, authentic, like an authentic dish, the like, mm, this a uh, mamma mia, it's a meatball, authentic, not not microwave dinner, makeup, what you will, with a 3D printer and call that food. We're talking about authentic anti-racism. What would it look like? Well, White supremacist capital of planet Earth, Portland, Oregon, would look a little bit different. <laughs> it would look very, very different because that's what these fuckers are in Portland, Oregon. And we'll just go to that clip now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Portland, Oregon has a problem with white supremacy and it needs really its own series. The people there are fucked up from Portland and the white people think they're victims and they don't even want to talk about the demons in Portland. The people don't, but they'll listen to a Clyde Lewis or they'll listen to some show because it's a portal town. Because by, while being there, um, you know, you can be really affected by the spiritual forces, basically. Uh, I'm looking for a, a clip on, on UHF, but it would be nice for me to work with a team of a few of you Oh, I don't want to get too far off topic. Forget where I'm at with all this. Um, David Icke and others that talk about the aliens, for them to get political and not talk about how human beings that are not even like hardcore Muslims are being demonized is its own thing. I already went there with you. <laughs> like hundreds of videos. We're not going to repeat all that content. Um, you wouldn't want it done to you, though, is what I got to say, as far as China and Russia and the way the patriot is demonized. Ah, uh, that's what got me flagged on Twitter. Basically, Lars was like, do you think that pro-life people should be called terrorists? And I'm like, uh, no. But you're not, you're being hypocritical if you think that the people questioning 9-11, though, uh, or other people overseas are blamed for 9-11 or terrorists when they didn't actually do it. You see, so they're embracing the truth movement like Musk and others, but they killed the 9-11 stuff. You get that, right? No, no, but you know that, right? No, no. Hey, I'm asking a question. Uh, there's no reason I'm just showing you this slide over and over. I'm just being, uh, you know, lazy boy. At least I'm showing you something instead of just, you know, talking into like a bad microphone, like pointing at the ground or something, you know. I'm giving you something, honey. Don't act ungrateful. Sweet little boy. I wish I could send you back home where you came from to Krypton. You know, it is what it is. So, yeah, I, I, loved, I loved her so much. I fell back into Earth because I was in love with Emily. So I came to Earth to save her from the nefarious dolphins in the ocean. In the ocean. Some of you are like, what the fuck are you saying, dude? You'll just have to wait for the autobio. Point is this. You got aliens and shit up the ass, like all up in like the neo-Nazi movement and all up in the anti-white movement, but there isn't really an authentic movement against anti-themism, period. And anti-themism is straight up white supremacy, black supremacy, Latino supremacy, Arab supremacy, you know, maybe some psycho Chinese, no offense, if you've been involved in this 9-11 thing too, you, you know, you naughty naughty. Don't do racial stereotypes, Alex. It's not, it's not my style. It's not my style. Who's he talking to? None of your freaking business. I have my associates and you have yours. You see, I am connected to the, the group above the Galactic Federation. I'm kidding. I'm outside that hierarchy completely. <sighs> the white supremacy stuff on the algorithm is mind control and entraps the soul. So it hurts the white person in the end, even if it doesn't hurt their land or their society. Even if they benefit from white supremacy for a few hundred years, eventually all that white supremacy gets used by the... So the algorithm, there's no way you can convince me, even if they hired East Indians to run your algorithm and, and thank you, come again. Oh, you're, you don't like your bill is $700. Oh, I'm so sorry. Fuck you now. Huh? You know, I just... I'm. But they're not like really like running the whole show, you know, like they outsource the jobs and shit. But they're not like really like Russia is like kidnapping people and stuff and forcing them to fight in Ukraine. Not that the U.S. is doing moral things or like that. I like Zelensky, Brzezinski, whatever the, the, the Harry Fairy's name is. Yes, he's a freak. Everybody is a show, folks. Look, I got chick on the pizza. We are stars now. In the what? We are what now?
Okay? Think about it. What are we stars in? What is going on here? So yeah, um, like I said, people should be a little bit more um, people should be a little bit more concerned about the shadow banning and things of that nature, which is taking place. They don't want powerful voices speaking out against racism. They don't want powerful voices speaking out against harming women. They don't want powerful voices speaking out against human trafficking. They don't want powerful voices warning you about Russia. They don't want powerful voices independent of Fox News warning you about China. They don't want me to reach the world. They don't want me to succeed. Okay? They don't want the people coming together. They want the people to kill each other. Okay? If you are letting the machine dictate your mind, if you are letting the people around you, if the people around you are letting the machine dictate their mind. If any one of us is around people that are letting the machine or the system control their mind and whether or not they take the you know what and they buy the you know what and go along with the you know what, if you and I are in situations where we are not independent, bow to God now and pray for protection from the devil. Because we're in trouble, folks. If you're not right with God, things are going to be very challenging. And so, yeah, folks, there has to be some uh, deprogramming. There's a movie that um, I think about when I think about old Gunner. Old Gunner is out there somewhere. Uh, there was a, a movie he liked back in the day. Uh, it features uh, Russell Crowe. It's an interesting movie. You don't really learn anything from the movie. You don't really become loving. You don't really learn anything. You don't really become anti what you're seeing. The whole thing becomes uh, a joke. Here is Pulling Up the Boots from the Romper Stomper soundtrack. And you know what's interesting? You know what's interesting? You know what's interesting? It's on YouTube. This violent display of hate crime is on YouTube for your masturbatory pleasure for young Ghana standard. We don't love you. We don't love you. As he would say, we don't love you. I'm feeling this sick feeling in my stomach. 
being that my friend was Asian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's it's entertainment, bro. It's entertainment. Hey, society's so anti racist. Hey, society's so anti racist. Hey, society's so anti racist. Hey, society. No, I don't believe you, bro. <laughs> I've been like against anti white stuff and against racism and white supremacy. Ain't none of these people finding me. These theories about like a super anti white supremacy movement like makes no sense to me. Like anti white is not the same thing as anti racist. You know that, right? No, wait, but you know that, right? Hey, hey, though, no, hey, you know that, right? Let's hear a clip, by the way, from Pump Up the Volume. I'm going to watch this movie again tonight. In fact, no, cancel that hamburger, and we're actually going to go do a detour. We're going to type in, oh, you're going to love this. You're going to love this, okay? Uh, some of you are going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe Alex just did that. 21 Jump Street. Okay. There is a episode where the guy does a radio show and he talks about becoming what he hated or something. And it was one of the um, 21, uh, um, 21 Jump Street. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Upgrade your windows and doors with renew. No. You don't want to update your windows because they will upload you in your world to Skynet. And they will know where you are. And don't order these artificial intelligence robots to do your work for you and bring you things. It's a trap. Everything's a trap. First they bring the microchip, then they have the sex chip. What's the sex chip? Well, it's gonna keep a record of everybody you've ever had sex with. There's just gonna be a swipe and everybody's gonna love it. It's, it's gonna be about preventing STDs and stuff. And uh, everything is just gonna work out great. Um, we may have to bail on this particular search. We're gonna give this about 30 more seconds and then just, um, um, uh, okay, so, um, hmm. So I am looking at some low power FM options. I would like to do some pirate radio, but I don't really know anything about it. From what I gathered, there are some small kits that you can purchase, um, that are like, you know, cheap. You just need like a power supply to run it. And it's basically a transmitter and that's it. So like, how do I basically drive around like the guy in Pulp Fiction, like the guy in Pump Up the Volume, like the guy in Pump Up the Volume? Uh, he's basically mobile. I don't know what he talks about in this particular clip. Um, I think this is the intro. Is leaking. Everybody knows the captain line. Everybody got this broken feeling Like their father or the dog just died Everybody talking to their pockets Everybody wants a box of chocolates And the long stem rolls Everybody knows smell it. I can almost taste it, the rankness in the air. It's everywhere. It's running through that old pipeline out there. Now, along listen, the dumb concrete river and so I'm going to bring this to a close. I want you to think about how you can expose the race baiting algorithm that's anti-white, anti-this, anti-that, and not go along with hate of any group, but nobody has the right to come up in your country and say they're taken over. Also, you can be bold and say F off, but try not to be racist or against their religion because there's plenty of religious folks that don't talk like that. And I told you that. That's a fact. That's not true that the entire Islamic religion is conspiring against you. That is a fucking lie. That's mind control. That's demonic. But are there some of them that are driven nuts and filmed? Yes. So understand the spirit of this dude right here before you in this um, uh, movie that's discussing these things and apply it to the algorithm. Coming up through the drains of those lovely tract homes we all live in. So who is he? Goes to Humphrey. Have you thought about how you can truth your community with 
Low Power FM with a CB radio with a YouTube channel this is where the reception with a voice course. changer. People in your small town that are addicted to Facebook, you can talk to like Fucking this yuppies. with the internet. You can t out. custom target. And my mom sold out years ago when she had me. And then they sold me out when they brought me to this hole in the world. Very philosophical about feeling sold out by being brought into the world. Like I heard this clip a few times. That's interesting. Selling out a soul by bringing one into this world. That's some interesting philosophy. But that's interesting. They made me everything I am today, so naturally I hate the bastards. Speaking of which, I am uh, running a contest. But in this case, he's brought to uh, suburbia. He doesn't want to be there, and I don't want to be where I was. And I was, I was enrolled in six high schools in a single year. If you haven't read my cliff notes from my autobiography, but more is coming. And my parents, when they did that, they conspired against me because you know what? I, I really screwed up in school. So before I dealt with white supremacy, I dealt with basically Afghan supremacy uh, and basically what you might consider white supremacy for my mom's family, but not so much like Nazism, but just, you know, some of the negative attitudes grandpa had that carried forth the way he raised his kids and influenced the way Bill talked, uh, uh, Phil, Bruce was talk about Asian vaginas being slanted like their eyes, like really low down stuff like, wow, and your sister is dating an Asian man who could like, you know, disappear you in seconds if you were to make him angry. That's pretty ballsy. I think a little too ballsy. I think that's your problem. I think those of you that are obsessed with fearless men need to think a little bit carefully about men that are just too fearless. And maybe we should just, you know, sit down and, you know, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I still remember old Bruce coming back home during uh, <clears throat> Solar Maximum. <clears throat> See how I did that? <clears throat> Solar Maximum. 1990, crying for his mama. Mom. Mom, I got beat up. Apparently, ne dude never had his ass handed to him. One day, you think he's going to go out in his first few weeks of months of getting off the cocaine, push it to the limit after he loses everything and his wife leaves him. And then he goes out, gets his ass kicked, but we don't know the full story as to how he got his ass kicked, do we? But it's possible due to the way that demons can attach to you that when you get off drugs, the demons attack your ass. And because you did rotten shit like pull guns on people and make dope and things like that and God knows what else you're hiding. Yeah, you can run into, say, a crazy drunk who might kick your ass. Sorry to say. Maybe you should clean up your act. But I have nothing but sympathy for what happened to him. Mm, and if you were to see Bruce Nagel on the speed bag back in the day, easy. White man hitting the speed bag faster than Stallone, easy 10 million views. If Bruce Nagel had YouTube in 1984, easy 20 million views on the speed bag. Like you're thinking Stallone's fast? You, you know, you, you, you put a mechanic in the early 80s in Aurora, Oregon, give him a speed bag. You know, last name Nagel. You ain't seen some shit till you've seen that. So there's that fighting spirit that does exist on the Nagel line. Even if Bruce Nagel was so pathetic that every time I went up and tried to do some playful boxing, uh, he would just, you know, fold like a little girl and go, ouch, ouch, please don't hurt me. On the best way to put him out of their misery. Like a, a, as an adult. As an adult. Tonight we have number 12. 100 things to do with your body when you're all alone. <laughs> now, are you ready for the incredible sound of Hard Harry coming on his own face? <sighs> oh my god. It's very possible, you know. Oh. 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 Are you listening to this? <laughs> yeah. Of course I'm listening. This guy's got to have hair coming out of his palms. Oh, oh. this is a champion one. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm going blind. There should be positive reinforcement for white people that, that recognize racism and will call it out and aren't a part of it. There's nothing anti-white about racism, about calling out racism. And anti-white rhetoric is racism, but calling out Nazism and being aware of its resurgence isn't anti-white or plotting or open borders or pro La Raza or any of that. I'm obsessed with warning white women about a dystopian future which China and Russia invade while simultaneously being against white supremacy. You do realize, right, that I've talked to conspiracy theorists that have told me, like James Fetzer, when I told them about my theories about China and Russia before other people talked about it, they said, well, America deserves it. I'm not lying to you. You got white people, folks, that for years conspired against you in my record keeping of what happened when I was here. And they talked shit about you as Americans, as white people, and said, fuck those white people. Over and over and over again, white people said to me personally, fuck you, white people, to me. 
And even though I complain about white supremacy, I kept warning you about China and Russia. Despite everything that happened to me, there was a period where I got mad, took down the videos, and said, what happens during COVID, bro? Just let it burn. Fuck it. But I knew one day I'd be back, to be honest. I just didn't really feel it at the moment. Dang it. Oh, unreal. Oh, my God. Still crawling. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, Hard Harry will go to any length to keep his three listeners glued with Ooey Bluey to their radios. But question is, how far will you go? I mean, how far can you go to amaze and disgust the insatiable Hard Harry, huh? I mean, how serious are you? I ask you that. My beautiful listener. You know what I can't figure out? How you managed to get such that great grades and you listen to copyright all night? You know. Uh, okay. Tomorrow. Don't forget Yale interview. Okay. Man, so what did we learn here today? Sleepy. You know. Nice what did we learn here today? To get a lot of letters here, guys. Weird. Dear Hard Harry, my boyfriend won't talk to me anymore. How do I show him that I really love? Him? Like I, I don't know anything about these letters asking for love advice. I mean, if I knew anything about love, I would be out there making it. King. Okay. Going over here. Um, so, so I foresee a time in which is going to be such great backlash against. <laughs> Excuse me, against refugees that are not terrorists, that women are harmed, just as we are seeing harm against whites. And so this is being facilitated on Twitter. I'm just going to close. We're going to close that <coughs> at 33 minutes. What I'm saying to you is the um, the current internet system doesn't want us talking about the real racism of various kinds and how to heal it. It doesn't want us to bring us together. This, this machine is literally conspiring against us. You're wrong if you think that it's woke. Um... And if you think it's patriotic also, like the, the Twitter algorithm, Musk revealing the truth to the people, that's wrong too. I told you over and over, he's allowing other stuff that makes white people look bad. And also, there is growing Islamic anger towards Israel because of what happened after the 7th of October, in case you didn't know that. And Israel, or rather Twitter, showed me a massive, massive, massive amount of videos of people being straight up killed for nothing in Palestine and people that I talk to for hours and hours and hours are straight up saying that people concerned about the Palestinians are like dumb fucks that's pretty shocking so if you believe that then why don't you confront Musk on deep fake videos of fake assassins of Palestinians I'm sorry what I'm sorry what I'm sorry what I thought so so if you're gonna have an attitude problem Aaron from Portland Oregon about people concerned about genocide, why are you silent about the Musk algorithm and the right-wing echo chamber? Aren't you seeing how he's a tool of the new world order? See, my concern is a lot of you aren't on the <clears throat> page one. White supremacy is real. It's bad. It brings bad karma and it puts the soul in hell <clears throat> and we need to confront it. And the woke movement is creating more of it. It's really an alien program if you're honest.